Hi, I'm Amy Karanik, and making clay jewelry just got a lot easier with these new bakeable silicone molds from Sculpey. The best part about these molds is that you can bake them right in the oven with the clay in them. We chose the most popular cabochon sizes and shapes. Um, there's triangle, teardrop, round, and donut, and the sizes you can make are um, three quarters of an inch, um, one inch, and one and a quarter inch in each and then the bezel molds fit with the cabochons completely. I want to show you how to make a couple cabochons. Um, now I have some pieces in here that I baked right in and I uh, just ignore those for now. I just want to show you later how easily they pop out of the baked mold. So I want to show you how to make the donut first. Um, this is the donut and it has this um, stem coming up through the middle um, just you know to make a donut shaped bead. So what you do to make the donut, because um, you don't want it to have any seams inside the mold, what I do is I make a guesstimate about how much clay will go in there and I just shape it into a ball. Then I take my six millimeter Sculpey ball tool and I just start um, pushing a hole down through my ball and I'll work from either direction. And then I want to go on through into that hole making a large enough um, hole to fit over that stem and I need to go just a little larger. And what I'm doing here is trying to just get a volume of clay that I know will fill up this donut cab. So go ahead and push that down into the mold with, and you want to be able to see the stem coming up through. And this is um, way more clay than I need so I'm going to just um, put my super slicer on here making it flush with the silicone mold and just shave that excess um, clay off. Now be careful when you get to that stem, you don't want to cut into the stem with your super slicer. All right, and so that um, will give you a perfectly shaped um, donut cabochon without any seams. And if you want, you can go ahead and pop that out um, while it's unbaked. Now when you take them out unbaked, um, it may distort them just a little tiny bit, but the benefit of taking them out before they're baked is that you are free now to insert eye pins or head pins. You can do anything you want with the soft clay and then bake it. Um, I'm going to show you quickly how to make uh, another shape and we'll just make this little triangle down here. Just take your ball of clay and since I'm going to be doing a triangle, I want to go ahead and get my ball sort of in a triangle shape. And then I just want to push this down in here until it completely fills the well. And once again, I'm overflowing just a little tiny bit, so I'm going to shave that excess off. Okay, and then you can just flex this right out. All right. Now let's look at the uh, bezels that match. Um, I like to make bezels a lot of times, um, like with a metallic clay, you know, something that um, makes it look like um, that this is a backing for a cabochon and it might be, you know, something made out of metal. And the Primo um, accent colors are just perfect for that. So I'm going to make a triangle bezel. So I'll go ahead and shape this kind of into a triangle and place it in the middle of the smallest triangle bezel shape. Now when you're working with the bezels it's so important to make sure the clay is getting all the way down into this deep frame area. So I'm really going to work that all the way around. I'm going to put a lot of finger pressure right over where that where that frame area would be just to make sure it gets completely filled and then I'll go back and press in the middle area. Okay, shave off the excess with my super slicer and then I just want to kind of pull the clay back away from the edge with my finger. Now you can go ahead and pop that out and match it up. Um, if you're popping these out fresh and what I mean by that is the clay is not baked. I want to kind of get the, the mold away from the clay um, as much as I can before I pull it on out. I want to get the whole mold edges away from the clay. 
Now I find that when you pop them out fresh, um, this lines up with the smallest triangle. There is a little bit of stretching and distortion, but it's real easy to snug that all back up um, to your matching cabochon, just like so. Now, um, with this fresh piece, um, you'd be free to, like I said before, add eye pins or head pins, whatever type of jewelry finding um, you, know, you might need to bake inside there. Here's a piece that has um, various jump rings and the eye pins were put in ahead of baking. But if you are going to do some drilling later, um, it's really nice to be able to bake these pieces right into the flexible molds like I've done. Um, this bezel was baked ahead of time right into the mold and you can just see how super easy they just pop right out and there's no distortion and um, they just match up perfectly. Now you're ready to make some really beautiful um, cabochon and bezel style jewelry.